Oh yeah, baby, it's morning time. Welcome to the celebration, morning motivation. I am Deacon Ford. We here once again, give God all glory, honor, praise for this is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. It's morning time, baby. It's morning time, time to join the celebration. Well, what are we celebrating, Deacon Ford? Man, we celebrating this breath of life. Come on, man, we celebrating this breath. I know y'all be like, man, I know this guy really don't wake up every morning on this type of energy. With this, on this type of time, with this type of energy, well, yes, I do, man. Yes, I do, because I done been in some predicaments in my life. I done seen some things. I done been some places. And I understand just how precious it is to have this breath of life in my lungs. And I want y'all to understand that also. So welcome to the celebration. Morning motivation. Let's get into this word, man, and see what the word say, y'all. It's morning time, baby. It is morning time. You turn this up a little bit. Okay, yeah. Morning time, baby. I see you, I see you. Sister Natalie, I already hit that shut button. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Sister LaShawn, Brother John, Brother Terrence, Brother Shane. Okay, Sister Cora, okay. If y'all don't mind, y'all hit that share button. Y'all hit that share button. Let's get the message out to as many people as possible. Okay, you see it, it's in the word. I ain't making it up, it's in the word. Okay, Sister Sarah, good morning to you. Good morning to each and every single Mother Horton, good morning to you. Sister Precious, good morning to you. It's morning time, y'all. It is morning time. Listen, man, just in case you didn't know, it is morning time. Welcome to the celebration. We here once again to give God all glory, honor, and praise for he is truly, truly, truly deserving of it. This right here is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Good morning to y'all who still logging on. Good morning to you, Deacon Woodruff. Good morning to you, Keyshawn. Keyshawn, boy, I see you. I just want, I just, I just want you to know that. I see you, little cuz. I see you, what you're doing with your business. I see you, how you logging on this morning, man. God is great. DD, good morning to you. Good morning to each and every single one of y'all. Let's get into this word. Once, one, one, just one scripture today. One scripture today. We're going to get into the scripture. One scripture today. That's Proverbs chapter 3, verse 7. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 7. Let us pray. God, we thank you. We bless your name. We lift you up this morning. We come to you in the mighty name of your son, Christ Jesus. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we thank you. We reverence you in our heart. We bow our knee to you. We bow our head to you, O oh God. We just thank you, our Lord, that we will bless you at all times. And your praise shall continue to be in our mouth. As we go forth this morning in this fashion, our prayer is that you will bless us with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the things that we read. That your Holy Spirit will guide us into all truth and revelation. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray it. Amen, amen, and amen. Proverbs chapter 7. Pro I mean, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 7. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 7. Shout out to those who are still logging on and those that are going to log on at a later time, man. Good morning to you. It's morning time. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 7. The word reads, Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. May God add a blessing to the reading, the hearer, but most importantly, the doer of his holy word. Real simple this morning, man. Real simple. Not, you know, not elaborate. Not very, not, 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 um, I ain't going to say detailed because it's very detailed. It hit the points. It gives us specific instruction, but it's not long and drawn out. Let me say that. It's not long and drawn out. It says, do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. You know, sometimes we'll get a little cocky. And you know, for a while we have been talking about humility, being humble, being in a place where God could actually, could actually use us, could work through us to advance the kingdom here on earth so that more people could be saved. So this is saying, don't be wise in your own eyes. Don't get the big head. Don't get, you know, your ego. Like you know everything. You got to consult with God first and foremost. You got to consult first and foremost with God. And then you have to surround yourself 
by people that can advise you, people that you can listen to, people that you can go to advice for advice and you can bounce ideas off of it, off of them. I got a few mentors in my life. I Yeah, me personally, I am a mentor to a lot of individuals. You know, most of the youth in our community, I, I got a lot of, a lot of uh, youth that I mentor, but I have a lot of mentors. I got a few mentors that call my phone and these individuals are from the business world. They're from the church world. You know, they're, they're community activists. I got a lot of people that I run my ideas by that call and check on me so that I'm not wise so much so in my own eyes. Do I know, do I know a few things? Yeah, I do. And I, and, I, and I try my best never to allow that to come off as cocky because I don't want to, you know what I'm saying, come off like I know everything. I don't know everything. If I knew everything, I wouldn't have written down some of the paths I went down and made a mess of my life at one time. So I've learned not to be wise in my own eyes, but fear the Lord. Not to be, not to be so much where you are scared of the Lord, but that fear has to be a reverence of God. See, when you reverence God, there's certain things you just ain't going to do out of respect and out of honor for who he is. Out of respect and honor, you're not going to do those things. You know how it is? Man, you don't want to bring shame. You think about your mother and your father, you don't never want to bring shame unto them. So there's certain things you just wasn't going to participate in. So the word is saying, fear the Lord. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Reverence God. Put him on the throne of your heart. Honor him. And depart from evil. Because you know that, that breaks God's heart. He can't look upon sin. That's why when Jesus was on the cross. There was a separation between God, Jesus and God. There was a separation. We saw the complete humanity of Jesus. While he was on that cross. Because God had to separate from him. My father why have thou forsaken me? He took on that sin. And so the Bible is telling us in verse 7. Chapter 3 of Proverbs. That we need to depart from evil. Fear the Lord. Depart from evil. And don't be wise in your own eyes. Listen y'all. Don't take my word for it. It's in the word. That's Proverbs chapter 3 verse 7. When you read your word. Jump into that comment box and say I read my word. Remember y'all. We still screaming. Faith over fear. God over everything. Together we have made love great again. Because love has never. Nor will it ever lose its power. It just lost its popularity. I love y'all. God bless y'all. Make sure y'all read your word, man. I've been noticing that, that in the box, in the comment box, there ain't been a lot of people saying they read their word, but there are a few people. And you know, I'm just saying that that encourages other people. You know what I'm saying? That's called accountability. Something that we are lacking right now in, in our society. We are lacking accountability. So that's a little bit of accountability, man. I mean, it's not a homework assignment. You ain't going to get an A, B, C, D, or F if you don't do it. But, just drop it in that comment box, man. And say I read my word. Once again, Proverbs chapter chapter 3, verse 7. I love y'all. I'm shining. I all got to get up out here. It's morning time, baby. If you don't mind, hit that share button. Let's get the message out to as many people as possible, y'all. I love y'all. God bless you. Catch y'all on the next time. It's morning time.